So, question 12 from lesson 7.4. We're going to take up this question. Question says to solve the triangle. If you have any question that says solve the triangle, that means all sides and all angles. Now, lucky for you guys, you already have two of the angles. So right away, we're going to call this angle A. We can solve for angle A, and we'll name the other angles B and C. Oh, you know what I'll do? C and B. Okay, now here's the rule that allows you. We know that 180 is equal to angle A plus angle B plus angle C. So, we know the measurement of angle B is 15 degrees. Measurement of angle C is 90. We're still looking for angle A, and it is equal to 180 degrees. So I'm going to bring 15 and 90 to the other side, so we'll get 180. Subtract 15, subtract 90 is equal to angle A. Angle A is equal to 75. So we know that this angle here is 75 degrees. So we've discovered all the angles in the triangle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the sides of the triangle. Okay? So sides of the triangle. We have now two angles here. And because we have all the measurements of all the angles to start, I can actually decide to choose almost any of these ratios to solve with because we have angles to work with. So let's say I want to find opposite of 15. Well, I have, I'm looking for the opposite side. We'll call that side B. And what side of the triangle do I have? The hypotenuse. Good. So since I'm looking for the opposite side and I have the hypotenuse, which of the ratios will I be working with? That's right. Good. We have our sign here. So sign, our angle was what? measurement 15 good 15 is equal to our opposite side is side B and our hypotenuse was what 16 good we just need to isolate for B so I need to bring 16 to the other side of the equation we'll get 16 multiplied by sine 15 is equal to our side B so sine 15 times 16 is equal to 4.14. So side B of the triangle is 4.14, are we in meters? Meters. So let's put this together. Side B is 4.14. Let's say approximately 4. Okay? There we go. Approximately 4. Now because I have two sides of the triangle, I could use one of the tr uh, trig ratios to solve this side here. We could use cosine, which would be our adjacent and our hypotenuse. We could use tangent, which would be opposite and adjacent. Or, what other formula could I use? I have two sides of a right angle triangle. I could use Pythagorean's theorem to solve this. So, we're going to take Pythagorean's theorem. I'm going to put it into our question. What we'll do, we'll put it up here. So, now what's important is we have to know which letters deal with which sides of the triangle. C is our hypotenuse. And in this question, our hypotenuse was 16. A and B, it's not as important what we call them, so I'm just going to call A 4. Remember, we rounded to 4. And we're going to look for, oh, no, sorry. I didn't name the triangle, so we'll call that side B, because we did call it side B. We'll be looking for side A, and side B is 4 squared. So what we're going to do is I need to move 4 squared to the other side of the equation. So I have 16 squared, subtract 4 squared is equal to A squared. 16 squared, I guess we better do it down there. Top of my head. 256. 256 subtract 16 is equal to a squared. 
256 minus 16, anyone know? Good. 240 is equal to a squared. Now, to get a by itself, I square root both sides. a is equal to the square root of 240, which is 15.49 or 15.5 meters. So, we've now sir, solved for everything in this question here.